Hello dads and welcome to our Bradley Watchdog orientation. We are so excited that you are still continuing to support us and volunteer to be excellent positive male role models for our kids. We know that watchdogs looks a little different. So some of you that have been watchdogs in the past, obviously you know that we can't have anybody in the building at this time. But our expectation still for greeting students, whether you're doing morning duty or afternoon duty, or if you're going into a classroom virtually to do a Zoom reading, we want to make sure that we still stay in compliance. So I'm going to hand it over to introduce Mr. Matthew Moore, which is our top dog uh, coordinator, and he'll tell a little bit about himself, how he's been in the watchdog program, and a little bit about what to expect. Thanks, Ms. Wright. Uh, my name is Matthew Moore. I am the father of a second grader here at Bradley Elementary. Um, I have been part of the Watchdogs program since my son started at Bradley as a kindergartner um, and am been very um, impressed, and impressed at how much this program um, allows the father figures in the lives of our Bradley Bears to be involved um, with our students on a daily basis. And while it's going to look a little bit different this year, it's still a great opportunity for us to show support for our students um, as they finish the year strong and looking forward to a great um, summer and return in the fall semester. Absolutely. Well, I know you're excited and wanting to get right into Watchdog Expectations. And so thank you for attending our kickoff. And so this is something that you'll need to play and review every time just in case something happens. Um, basically, you're agreeing to follow all of the Watchdog and Bradley expectations. All right. So number one, watch or attend the Watchdog's webinar orientation. You're already doing that score. Very, very important because um, we all get comfortable, but you never know. Things may happen on the Zoom or things may happen in the car ride or um, by the bus area. Be on time for your duty. So being on time for your duty could be dismissal or Zoom classroom meetings or even when um, we're starting the car rider. Things get really busy here at Bradley, so it's really important that you are showing up on time. And if you are not able to make it, that you call the school or you can send me an email. Um, don't worry if it's the night before because I know that you guys have jobs and I know sometimes your job may ask you to do something at the last minute and you're not able to attend, but it's really important that you let me know um, and that you're on time, especially for the classroom Zoom meetings because teachers are taking time out of their day to welcome you as their special guest and so they've got to keep going. You want to make sure that you follow your personalized daily schedule. So for those that are doing, um, maybe you're doing the classroom Zoom meeting, I will give you a schedule when you are going in and out um, of certain Zooms, or it may be just one Zoom, but there's just different classes that are coming. So it's really, really important that you, you know, don't try to email another teacher to try to get in that classroom Zoom or try to schedule something else. Just stick to whatever we have given you and assigned for you to do that day. Whether it's in the morning, I'm going to give you a certain area to be at, or in the afternoon, or um, the classroom Zoom. You want to make sure that you always wear your watchdog uniform t-shirt while you're on watchdog duty. So this is really important. Um, we have a uniform just because we want to make sure that teachers and parents and community members and our district people know who you are as a volunteer. So it's really important that you sign up on the watchdog web store, buy a t-shirt, um, a lot of dads normally buy the gray or the white ones. They're pretty cheap, like $9 or whatever they are. Um, and make sure that you have that on when you're on duty. The same thing with Zoom. So some of you may be, you know, joining a classroom during your lunch break. Um, if you, if at all possible, just during your lunch break when you're in your office, if you got your business suit on, you know, throw that shirt all over. Um, your business attire or you know some of y'all like mr moore may have your cap on it's just really really important that you have some type of identification that shows that you are with our watchdog program 
Um, stop by the office if you have any questions during arrival or dismissal. So if you get confused, don't know where to go, or if you need to leave, or you need to step out, just always your front office is your go-to. Ms. Reardon, myself, Dr. Butler, we're always available. So if something happens, because you never know, things happen all the time, um, you can go to the front office. Um, and I will take it over to Mr. Moore. <laughs> Thanks, Ms. Wright. Um, you know, the most important thing about being a watchdog is we're approachable and that we demonstrate that through how our body language, our facial expressions, so that the students feel like that we're someone that's there that they can talk to um, or just say hi to on their way in. And far and far too often students are, you may be the first smiling face or the happy person they've seen that morning. So getting them that positive mindset and attitude to start the day, or they've had a really rough day and they're leaving the school, you know, having that positive, positive affirmation that things are going to be all right um, as they head out for the day is really important and really uh, a big part of us, of the program we have. Um, with that, we want to be safe and we want to demonstrate the safety uh, expectations of all students and staff members for Conroe ISD. Um, we're asking that you please wear a mask at all times while you're at the school. Um, obviously, if you're on Zoom, um, you know, we, that's not an expectation we have unless um, that's someplace that you need to wear a mask in your situation is understandable. But if you're at the school helping with uh, arrival or dismissal, please just wear your mask while you're on the campus. Um, and be smart about this. Follow the school's policy of appropriate conduct and behavior. You know, you're... Um, while you're there, you're a, a representation of the school. And so if it's not necessarily appropriate for a student to do or a teacher to do or an administrator to do, it's definitely not appropriate for you to do as a watchdog. And be alert um, while you're there. You know, our job is not to provide security for the school. Mm -hmm. That's far too often a misconception of this program. But we are there and we are there and we are an extra set of eyes. We are an extra set of ears. So if you hear something or see something, immediately alert a staff member so they can go through their appropriate steps on how to handle that situation. And be available at all times while you're there. Um, if, you know, especially during arrival and dismissal, if they're, if you're out at the bus ramp and they say, hey, you know, we'd really like you to go over to the car rider line or vice versa, just have that ability to be flexible and to help out as needed. Okay, next we have be a positive role model. So this is really important, especially going along with what Mr. Moore said. Like we are, you know, wanting um, all of our males to really have a profound um, just presence here at Bradley. Um, I, I think sometimes we may forget, you know, how some of our kids don't have strong father figures or they might not have a father figure at all so part of watch dogs is we we get the name dads all the time but we're dads of all students so you're not only a dad you know for your own ch children that are here but you're a dad for all of our bears so it's really important that you're being a positive role model you're showing what it takes to you know be this brilliant watchdog dad greeting smiling you know just lots of energy really engaging with the kids so that they can have someone to look up to um the next one never use the students boys or girls restrooms always use the faculty staff restroom so if you're doing dismissal duty and you have to use the restroom which is normal right um you're actually going to make sure that you're going to the front office only you are not able to go in any other section of the school um, to use the restroom because you can only use the grown-ups restroom. You want to make sure that you follow the school's confidentiality policy in regards to students and staff. And this is really important because a student might let you know something um, or may tell you something or you may see something. A lot of us live in the same community with each other, but I couldn't stress enough that anything that's happening here on our campus that is of concern Please bring it to us as administrators um, and not um, release any, you know, of our bears information or say anything um, about any other bears in the class. We want to make sure that we're following the school's confidentiality policy as well as to our staff members. 
always be visible to others. That means we need to see you. Um, while you're doing car duty, like I said, that's why it's important for you to watch, wear the watchdog uniform so we know who's on our campus and what they're doing. Um, do not use profanity. Very important. I know we sometimes have slip bombs, but we are at an elementary and we are at a school campus. So please do your best to use appropriate language, um, especially while you are, you know, reading to certain classrooms or if you hear students say a certain thing, you know, we want to correct and we want to be that role model. Um, the last two points here, um, th and this is, you know, true of any campus, not just Bradley, the use of tobacco on school grounds is strictly prohibited. That includes uh, smokeless tobacco uh, dips. Um, that's not appropriate and we ask that you not do that. And if you're on a Zoom, we ask that while you're not on school grounds that you limit, that you don't do that either, that you use that time to focus. And if that's something uh, that you do partake in, that you do it after the Zoom, uh, your Zoom uh, time is done. Um, you know, don't share while we all have religious or political views that we hold uh, true and dear to our hearts. This isn't the time or the place um, while you're a watchdog to express those. Um, if students will sometimes talk to you about their, um, their weekend, which makes include, you know, if they went to church or they did something or something they heard or they said, you know, just nod and say, that sounds cool. And just, you know, kind of let it go on. Uh, it's not something you need to encourage or in, in keep going or disagree with. Um, just, you know, let the kids talk to you. You don't need to express that your views to them. Um, as Ms. Wright said, um, you know, we understand all of us are busy. All of us have something going on. If you need to take a cell phone, if you need to take a, a phone call on your cell or answer an email, um, you know, that's absolutely okay. We just ask that if you can to try to limit it. And if, if you do need to, that you step away um, kind of from the main kind of area so that you're not on your cell phone in the middle of a huddle of kids, but you're, you know, as Ms. Wright said, you're still visible to everyone. Um, but, you know, if you can limit it, great. If not, that's understandable. Uh, but just, you know, use some common sense and discretion on that as well. And ultimately, what we're what all of this boils down to is, we don't want you to, you know, intentionally or accidentally engage in a conduct that brings disrespect on you, or your student or students at the school, the school itself, our program, or any of the other volunteering uh, folks that we have at the school. You know, we, this this program was designed to bring a positive influence of the father figures and students' lives into the school environment. Um, and we truly believe that that's an important goal and important aspiration that we want to keep going. And we don't want to inadvertently um, have someone bring into question our program and why our program should exist. So just be aware of your conduct and what that says about you and those around you. Awesome, thank you, Mr. Moore. All right, Dad, so we want you to go forth and conquer. We want you to have fun. It is not to be all, you know, restrictive and, you know, drill sergeant, but we just want to make sure that we're safe, especially in times of this. So we are so excited that Dr. Butler has allowed us to do this in a fun, new, virtual way. And we look forward back to the old days, you know, maybe next year back on campus. But it's really important that we start now and our students are able to see you all. So I'm going to be sending this out um, in a link for you to review. And every time you sign up for a slot, you will be asked to sign it. And that just means that for that day, for that session, for whatever is happening that you signed up for, you are being committed to our expectations. And so some of my dads that have been with me since, you know, we've been getting watchdogs I already know, you know, you might find yourself signing it like 10 times. And that's okay because every day is different and every situation is different. So we just want to make sure that we're safe and that we're following proper protocol. So we will see you soon. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to Mr. Moore. Um, some of you have seen his contact information um, on the Facebook PTO page 
or you can always email me. And if you need to speak to Mr. Moore directly, just trying to get some more information, I will always forward your emails to him. All right. Thank you. Thank you.